Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a long time since we released our last video, and uh, uh, well, things developed so that uh, we've done some things, but we were not able to release them as videos. Uh, one of such projects is uh, uh, this uh, 3D gimbal. This is a fully 3D printed design. Uh, this particular version is printed out of uh, ABS plastic, which was later painted in uh, black color. And you can see uh, the only thing that is not painted here is the holder. In order to operate the gimbal, what you have to do, you have to remove the holder first of all. So this is done relatively easily with a couple of motions like this. Uh, you can see that I'm using a Xiaomi Yi camera here. Otherwise you can develop it pretty much for any uh, GoPro clone. The initialization is pretty simple. All we have to do is to push this button, which which is more like a switch at the back and hold it for a little bit so here we go this is the stabilization active now so we can see this is a 3d design which controls the motion in the third axis as well well i thought that designing something out of plastic which has a nice and warm feeling to it uh, is much better than uh, uh, using a metal uh, tube. I'll switch off the gimbal for now. As you can see, this one consists out of two parts, and they're connected with the XC60 uh, connector, uh, which is basically glued in. This particular type of connection is pretty good because it's uh, nice and sturdy. It gives uh, a lot of reliability for multiple connections between the parts. Also, you can charge it with your normal charger that you use for uh, your quadcopters. Now I'll plug them back. Uh, this is basically a quarter turn connection that brings the parts together like this. And this ring is fully 3D printed as well, as well as the actual connection. You probably can see that this is this gimbal uses the hardware from the Tarot 2D gimbal, which many of you have, and probably is lying on the shelf with uh, something like a controller broken or parts twisted, the plastic parts that hold it to the copter. They sometimes get broken. You still use the other parts for this for this project. All you have to do is to cut the gimbal at this plane, and uh, then there's also a couple of parts, a couple of 3D printed parts that connect the gimbal parts to the motor. The AX2804 is uh, a pretty good choice for any gimbal design. The advantage of uh, this motor is that it has a big bearing inside, which gives it a nice functionality as a third axis motor. And it also is uh, uh, very suitable for modifications of 2D gimbals in order to give them the, th the 3D uh, gimbal functionality. The only downside of this motor is that it works well with the 2S batteries, but it doesn't work so well with the 3S batteries. So for this reason, we're using a 2S battery inside. Hello, hello dear viewers, and welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since we've published the last video, uh, but things were not standing still. Uh, one of the developments that uh, happened throughout this time is uh, this particular project, which is a 3D gimbal. Uh, as you can see, it's a fully 3D printed gimbal. Uh, I'm using an ABS material here, which is uh, painted in a black color. One of the features of this gimbal is that it has a bracket that holds the motors uh, still. So that's very useful for transportation. Uh, you can remove the, bra the bracket by a couple of uh, simple motions, which is uh, like this. In order to activate the gimbal, you'll have to push the switch at the back, which is the red switch. I'll do that now. Then you have to hold it still for a couple of seconds. There we go, it's stabilized now, so you can see the full action of the, of the 3D gimbal. So it, has a slow, it also has a slow adjustment for the Z-axis variation, like this. You can also direct it up using the joystick, and you can also direct it down, and of course to the sides, which is a bit less useful, but still. Some people may like it. 
Now this particular gimbal is developed for a Xiaomi camera, uh, which is still available in the market, although it's not as popular as it used to be. This camera is pretty good because it's a good GoPro Clo. Uh, it produces a quality video, uh, which we'll show you in a couple of minutes. The major component of this gimbal is a Tara 2D gimbal assembly. Many of you probably have this gimbal sitting around, uh, broken, with a controller broken, or maybe some of the plastic parts twisted and broken. As you can see, this particular gimbal has been joined together with a metal plate in here. What you'll have to use for the Tara gimbal is an adapter, the Xiaoyi adapter. It connects to the camera with an M8 screw at the bottom. Uh, you have to cut the gimbal along this plane and then you'll have to use uh, the 3D printed plastic parts to interface with the motor. So this is the third access motor which is an AX2804 the Xenity motor specifically designed for gimbals. It's not perfect with uh, uh, batteries that are 3S and 4S but it's, it works quite right with the 2S battery. The controller sits inside under this cover which is a mini BGC controller, otherwise known as uh, DYS or disc controller. I'm also using a joystick. The joystick is pretty handy for manipulation of the camera. And uh, this, I think, is a big advantage of this particular design over many others because using buttons at the back with your thumb and some other variations that I've seen uh, is not very practical. Why joystick is really good, it's a really ergonomic. Also, the warm fitting of plastic handle. Uh, gives this one an advantage over the metal tubes that many designs use. Another thing is a two-part design which makes it possible to both connect the battery compartment and the controller compartment and charge the gimbal through the XC60 connector. And that's very practical for uh, people that use copters because many of us have uh, chargers that use XC60 connectors and it's pretty simple to put it back together using this 3D printed nut which is a basically a quarter turn nut like this you connect it back and everything come, comes together it's a pretty sturdy design doesn't fall apart nothing happens to it as you can see and uh, it has survived a couple of pretty heavy shocks um, which I think speaks in favor of this particular mode of connection